Hi, in this video you will see really important information regarding anil enhancement care and I will show you uh, what to do to prevent a mechanical damage uh, which is quite common uh, if you're a client and you're wearing anil enhancements. Uh, I sometimes break anil as well and I know this is totally my fault uh, where I use the anil uh, the way I shouldn't. Uh, so I hope you really take um, this advice and you will know how to take care of your nails. Also, if you're a nail technician, share that with your clients uh, because uh, they will be really uh, thankful uh, for all this information they can see in this uh, tutorial. And I'm Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator, and hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Definitely when flashing the toilet, you need to watch for those kind of uh, pressing the buttons. Like if you would press it here, and uh, that could be my breaking point. So definitely it is a big no-no. Uh, you have to use your knuckles and uh, press the button like this. So that's the way you flash the toilet. And you can see this button is really well overdone and it's all my fault of pressing it so hard that I actually overpressed the button and I did the same with my car. Uh, once we're in the toilet, I think it's a worth to show you how to wipe as well. So basically you just run up like the toilet tissue and you go like this to wipe yourself because I get lots of questions asking how do you do that with such a long nails. Uh, so it's a really not big issue. You just do it the normal way you would do it uh, always. Uh, but pressing the button, remember, don't use your uh, fingers this way because or this way even worse because uh, that's what causes the snapping of the nail. This is a very common situation when we need to open the drawers and definitely you cannot catch like this. Uh, that's what causes the breakage of the nail, your hand could slide. Uh, you have to go and grab it this way to open it. So don't grab like this, it's even not strong enough. You have to open with the side. And actually once we're here, I might show you how to use the cream as well. That will give you another tip. So you just go... I caught you in the middle. <laughs> you just go... Uh, you just go with your finger and pick up from this side, not the other side, so you don't have a cream stock underneath. And then you just apply it on your face or on your hands and you don't have any cream stock underneath of your nails. Uh, also, if you've got crystals on the top, you wouldn't use the finger with the crystals, you would use the one which doesn't have them. And also, if we're here, I wanted to show you the crystals I've got in my dressing table. They are on the drawers as well. And I have applied them with the nail glue. There is also a video how to secure the crystals on the nails. I've got them in a car as well. I just thought I will show you that. After we have put the face on, it's a time to put our shoes on. And that's a very common mistake as well when we're going with our nails and we're trying to put the shoes like this. Uh, that can cause a really big breakage on your nails. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, use a spoon provided for putting the shoes on. And this way you are not going to damage the nails. And once we are fully dressed up, we can go and do some shopping. To get for those shoppings, we need to jump into the car and open our seat belts. And this is really common case of the broken nail. So never press the button like this way, especially on the car seat belts, which needs quite a lot of pressure. And that's definitely could cause the breakage. Use your knuckles again uh, to open up the car seat belts. And then uh, this way you are not going to uh, break your nail. And same for the car boots. Actually, I might show you the car boot as well. So check this out. Exactly the same. Don't use the finger uh, or your thumb to press these buttons because it has uh, lots of pressure on it. Uh, we use the knuckle and then we open up the car boot. Now time for money pickup. So you wouldn't go with your nails like this. 
because uh, again you're causing the pressure on the needle. Uh, it is possible to pick it up uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the easiest way to pick it up uh, the money is just going with the sides of your fingers like this. Flip. The thinner the, the money the more difficult it is going to be so sometimes you need to have a couple goals uh, before you can pick it uh, the money. So that's the can we have bought and now is the time to open it and very common mistake is going with your needles. Uh, this is a really going to cause a big breakage uh, if you press it too hard. Uh, so I definitely recommend not using your needles but some different tool. It can be a knife or it can be a keys or anything you've got and then you just go uh, lift it up and then you can use the side of your finger to open it up. So that's the best way to open a can of juice. Another very dangerous situation for your nails, but not only for the nails, uh, more often for the fingers as well. Actually, sometimes the nails can save your uh, finger uh, because it is uh, better to cut a tiny bit of the needle than the finger. But I will show you how to don't use the knife. So uh, usually it may happen on the farm because uh, when I get the clients, they quite often come in and they say they have cut the farm because they're holding uh, the product different way when they're cutting something. So you wouldn't go this way because you can cut your uh, farm needle. Uh, you have to protect uh, um, the cutting area with your knuckles uh, so this way you are not going to cut your nails and you are also not going to cut your fingers and that's the way you should uh, cut something when you've got long nails. Uh, share it with your clients. I'm going to do that the same as well and share with my clients and then later on check how they are flushing the toilets bathroom, how they are opening up the car seat belts or putting their shoes on um, to make sure their nails lasting a really really long and nice uh, time without of any breakage. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!